and welcome back to today's video. So today we are here to go over my morning skincare routine. We are talking skincare today, guys, and you know I love that. So basically a little background on my skin before we get started here with the products and the routine that I've been doing. Three things that I'm really focusing on with my skin right now in my skincare routine. I'm focusing on anti-aging, obviously, still. I am really focusing on inflammation with the skin. If you guys know, if you've been following me for a little bit, I've kind of mentioned this in some of my other videos. I've just been super into learning more about the way our skin becomes inflamed. We get inflammation from our skin every single day from occurrences all around us. The sun, the UVA, UVB rays, pollution, free radicals in the air, makeup we put on our skin, just everyday occurrences around us are just inflaming our skin. So it's something that I've been really interested in and I will touch more on that in a second. But the third thing that I'm focusing on is redness and the broken capillaries in my skin. And as you guys know, I have gone through a couple treatments now. I think I did three totals so far of the V-beam laser treatment, which is amazing if you have any redness or broken capillaries to your skin. And since having that treatment, I've just kind of learned a little bit more about my skin as a whole as well. My skin is definitely changing as I get older, as with everybody's does. I mean, our skin literally changes, you know, every month, every year our skin is changing. So it's really good to kind of readjust your skincare routine, really take a look at your skin, focus on what needs to be corrected or what needs to be worked on with you. Because again, everybody's skin is different. But for me, the three main things that I'm really focusing on, anti-aging, redness and broken capillaries, and inflammation. So going back to the inflammation point, I've just learned a lot about inflammation in the skin and I've really come to notice that my skin is definitely more prone to inflammation than other people's might be. My skin is more prone to redness and the fact that with the broken capillaries, one thing that I've actually learned is that broken capillaries don't necessarily have to be broken capillaries. What they are is actually capillaries that are coming to the surface of your skin to actually help heal your skin. So again, with that inflammation, you are gonna get more broken capillaries because they're actually coming to the surface to help correct and heal your skin. So it's all in turn about inflammation with your skin, that redness with your skin. And again, some people are more prone to inflammation, more prone to that redness than others. Also, definitely as I'm getting older, the redness and the broken capillaries that are coming to the surface of my skin, a lot of that has to do with previous sun damage. Sun damage is not necessarily the brown spots that everybody thinks of that comes to the surface. Some people get sun damage with the redness and the broken capillaries that come out, and that is definitely me. That is definitely the way my skin is. I mean, gosh, I used to bake outside in the sun. I used to love to lay out and get a tan. I used to go to tanning beds, and all that now is coming out with like the red, blotchy skin. That is what I've been dealing with. So that is all the skincare products that I've kind of been using right now. They all focus on the anti-aging. They focus on inflammation and really knocking out that inflammation and then they also focused on any redness and broken capillaries and the redness and broken capillaries and the inflammation like I said pretty much go hand in hand if you can knock out that inflammation if you can really heal and repair your skin you are gonna see much less broken capillaries so I figured now is a perfect time to share my skincare routine with you guys because I've been using this exact routine now for over two months and I can tell you that the products work exactly the way I want them to be working they are super effective I am loving this routine I am loving the changes that I'm seeing with my skin and just how my skin feels. I just think this is a great routine for anybody that's dealing with the same type of issues that I am. So I'm not going to ramble any longer. Let's just get started. All right. The first thing I do every single morning is I apply my Sarah Hap Lip Slip. This is a lip gloss moisturizer that really makes my lips just so hydrated, so soft. And I apply this every single morning while I'm doing my skincare because I have the driest lips like of life. So I always apply this in the morning. I apply this at night too, but I apply in the morning while I'm doing my skincare and then I let it sit on and then just kind of blot it off before I do like any lipstick or anything for the day. It just really softens my lips. It helps to take away any dryness or chap feeling. So always, always my first step. So moving on to cleansers and there's two cleansers that I've been kind of rotating right now. I did actually wash my face already in the bathroom at the sink. So I will just show you guys what I've been using. So I still am loving this one, the event the anti rougeurs Dermo Cleansing Milk. This is the cleanser that's made for more sensitive skin types. It has the redness relief to it. It's a cream type of formula. It's just super moisturizing, super hydrating. It leaves your skin feeling nice and hydrated and plump. This is also really good in helping to get rid of any of that leftover makeup that sometimes your makeup remover doesn't fully get. So I can take this over my eyes and just really work off any remaining makeup. I just have talked about this so many times on my channel. I really love this. It's again for sensitive prone skin 
if you have any redness issues, this is an amazing cleanser. And then this is the other cleanser that I have been loving so much. Now, right now, my skin is pretty much a combination skin type. So I am pretty normal, and then I get oily in the T-zone. So that is my skin type right now. So I've been using the Aven Oil-Free Gel Cleanser. This is a soap-free cleanser. It's hypoallergenic. It's non-comedogenic, so it's good for all skin types. Even if you have sensitive skin, it's not going to clog pores. It really helps to clean out the pores, but just in a very sensitive way. It doesn't strip your skin of any natural oils, and I love that. This is just a really good cleanser if you have more of that normal to oily skin types. It also has the thermal spring water in it as well so it's very healing and nourishing to your skin as well as it effectively helps to remove any dirt and you know excess oil to your skin at the same time so love this cleanser as well all right so now we're up to date here I am due for my toner right now and the two toners that I've been loving that I go back and forth are this one which I am still loving still using you guys have heard me talk about this now a bunch on my channel it's the Aven the gentle toner again this has such a high concentration of the Aven thermal spring water and if you're not familiar with that the thermal spring water in the Aven products is just so good if you have sensitive skin it just really nourishes heals the skin it completely hydrates with like the most deeply hydrating like soothing feeling it is amazing and if you've used their products you know exactly what I'm talking about. And this is just a toner that really anyone can use if you are dry skin, oily skin. It's just a fabulous, gentle, easy toner that just makes your skin feel amazing. So this is an option of one that I use. And then this is the other toner that I use. This one's actually a spray. It's by Is Clinical. It's the Copper Firming Mist. And this product right here, I am highly, highly addicted to. It is so good, so good on the skin. It provides immediate hydration to the skin and you can notice that as soon as you spray this on your skin. It will also help improve skin elasticity and firmness. It also helps to repair the protective barrier of your skin, which again helps in turn of inflammation. You always wanna be protecting that barrier to your skin. It goes a long way for helping control redness or capillary issues or any of that, so it will help to protect that barrier. It also has ingredients to help boost the skin's brightness and clarity, and it is alcohol-free, so it doesn't cause any dryness to your skin. This also has antioxidant ingredients as well as anti-inflammatory ingredients, so it is everything. I love this. Like I said, I'm completely addicted to this, so I think I'm gonna be using this one and showing you guys this one today. So all I do is after I wash my face, dry everything off, I just take a little bit of this spray and give my skin a nice little dousing of this stuff and it feels so good. You can also use this throughout the day to refresh your makeup. I mean, obviously you don't wanna go crazy like I just did. I put a lot on, but you can use this throughout the day to kind of refresh your skin and hydrate your skin over top of your makeup at the same time. This product is just, it is the best. All right, so while that is drying on my skin, I always just kind of give it a little bit to dry into my skin here. I'll show you guys the other product and the other toner that I'm still using, still loving. I use these about two or three times a week just as a toner. It's the Sunita's Brightening Peel Pads. I still am lightly exfoliating my skin, and these are what I use. I absolutely love these. You guys have heard me talk about these so much too. They're just a little peel pad that come out in this type of form like this, and I just rub them down my face, down my chest, down my neck. It has lactic acid in it, has salicylic acid in it, and it has glycolic acid in it. So it has three different type of acid products that are just going to really help degunk pores. It's gonna help with anybody who has texture issues because it really smooths the skin. So it's really just an amazing like all-in-one type of treatment pad. It's anti-aging, it has the exfoliation factors to it, it will help degunk any pores and just keep your pores really nice and clean. So I just always, always love these. These are always a staple in my routine. Okay, so moving on now that my face is dry from that firming copper mist, what I do next is I'm taking the Is Clinical Pro Heal Serum Advanced. I've talked about this in a few different videos too. This is the Is Clinical, the vitamin C antioxidant. This product right here, again, hands down, I am so in love with. I just think this is the most fabulous product. So now this vitamin C gives you the 15% L-ascorbic acid, so a perfect amount of vitamin C still, but you are also getting some amazing ingredients along with this that are anti-inflammatory, as well as ingredients that are gonna help soothe and heal the skin. This is a perfect vitamin C for anybody who has rosacea or acne-prone skin because those skin types are more prone to that inflammation. I can tell you I've definitely seen a difference since using this along 
along with some of the other products I'm about to show you. This has made a big difference. I just absolutely love all the ingredients that you get in this. Not only are you getting that 15% vitamin C, you are also getting a bunch of different anti, you know, inflammatory ingredients, zinc being one of them. It's so good for that red or inflamed type of skin. It knocks out inflammation. Zinc is amazing. This also has arbutin in it, which arbutin is going to help control any hyperpigmentation. Completely obsessed with this product too. I'm going to be using this today. I use this every single day. Comes in a dropper form like this. And all I do is I take a little bit, put it onto my fingers here, rub it in my hands, and then I'm just going to press it into my skin. And then I'm going to take a little bit more and I do put this down my neck as well. Pat that into the neck area. And I do give each product, I'd say about a minute or two between each one. I like to let it soak in and kind of do its thing before moving on to the next product. All right, so once that kind of is set and I can feel that it's soaked in good, I'm gonna move on to now my anti-aging serum. And what I've been using for the last couple months is the Is Clinical Youth Serum. There's a few anti-aging serums that I rotate in and out through my rotation, you guys know. TNS Serum, the Regenica Dual Serum, the Neocutis Bio Serum. There's a couple different ones that I really, really love that will always be like in my rotation. Right now, I've just been using the Is Clinical Youth Serum, and this is another fabulous, fabulous anti-aging serum that I've been really loving. This serum is good for all skin types. It's good to help firm any loose, sagging skin. It's gonna also help with your skin elasticity and firmness, and you're actually gonna see, you know, benefits of this right away. You can notice the difference right away, and then and obviously long-term benefits as well. But this is a serum that you're gonna put on and actually notice a little bit of an immediate smoothing and tightening effect. And this serum is just chock full of some of the best peptides that you will find out there in the skincare world. It has the main benefits of the copper tripeptide growth factor. So amazing for your skin. The copper tripeptide growth factor is actually in a lot of the Is Clinical products. And what that does is it's actually been proven to really stimulate your collagen. So in turn, it's gonna really help with lines and wrinkles and skin elasticity and firming of the skin. Again, amazing ingredients in here. It also has some vitamin A for antioxidant protection and again, stimulating that collagen. I've been really impressed, really loving this. I'm going to use this today again. So again, it comes out in a dropper form like this. I'm going to take some of that and put it on my finger. This one again is not as runny. It's more of like a gel. And I am just going to again, pat this into my skin. This just soaks right in as well. Doesn't leave any type of like film or anything on your skin. I love layering serums. Love it, love it. And this serum you can actually use around your eyes as well and that will create an immediate like tightening effect around the eye area. So that's kind of what I've been doing. I'll take a little bit of this and dab it around my eyes. And then we're gonna let this soak in quick for another minute. So next I've been taking the Glytone Enhanced Brightening Complex. Again, I've mentioned this in a few different videos. Oh, I love this product so much. Again, I've seen so much changes to my skin because I've added this product. It has the 12% azelaic acid and then the 3% glycolic acid. Azelaic acid, so, so amazing. Hands down, one of the best ingredients that you can find for that inflammation to this skin. It just really finds that inflammation and knocks it out of your skin. So it's gonna be really good for anybody who has any of those redness issues or any of that inflamed skin. It's super good. And then it does have that slight amount of glycolic just to really help exfoliate at the same time. It's called the brightening complex because azelaic acid and glycolic together is known to kind of just really enhance your skin tone, really brighten it up. And it will also help with pores and just decongesting pores at the same time. Since I found it, I've been completely hooked on it and that is what I'm using next in my routine. This comes out in a little cream form like that and I just take this and kind of go all over my skin here. Okay, so moving on. Now is where I come to the place where I add my like hyaluronic acid or hydrating serum. And the two hydrating serums that I've been rotating back and forth because I love them both. One of them is the Is Clinical, the Hydrocool Serum. And then the other is the new SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier. So let me talk about this one first, the Is Clinical Hydrocool Serum. This has quickly become, in the last couple of months that I've been using this, one of my absolute favorite products ever. Again, I am completely in love, completely 
completely hooked on this. This Hydrocool Serum has 25% hyaluronic acid, so it's got a high amount of hyaluronic acid to really hydrate and just deeply moisturize the skin. It also has vitamin B5 in it, which vitamin B5 is so good for really healing the skin and, and really helping to repair that dermal layer of your skin, the protective barrier that is, you know, the top layer of our skin. And then the thing that I love most about this product as well is the fact that it has ingredients in it to really help the microcirculation of your skin. So it really helps with that capillary flow. It helps with the vascular tone of your skin. So it's really, really good for broken capillaries. It's going to really reduce any irritation or redness or damage to the skin. If you have sunburn, you put this on your skin, it's going to immediately soothe, calm, take that redness down. It's so healing. It's so hydrating. It just really revitalizes like aging and compromised skin. It is good for all skin types, dry, oily, dehydrated skin. It is such a beautiful product on your skin. I see a difference when I use it, when I feel it on my skin. It's absolutely amazing. So this is one that I definitely, you know, use all the time, as well as the new SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier. I have started using this. I kind of was introduced to this right before it launched, which it just launched a little bit ago. So this is a little bit newer to my routine. And like I said, I pretty much have been sticking to this, but since this one was launched, I kind of will rotate these now in and out. So the SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier, I just did a video on. This is the new product to SkinCeuticals. It's a hyaluronic acid product, but not only is it putting the hyaluronic acid into your skin, it's also stimulating your body to produce its own hyaluronic acid, which is huge, huge, because as our body ages, our skin does not produce as much hyaluronic acid as it did back when we were younger. So it's very important to be adding a hyaluronic acid into our skincare routine. And then this one being the fact that it will actually help stimulate your body to produce its own hyaluronic acid is just an amazing added bonus. This is very similar to the Skin Medica HA5 that they came out with last year. Skin Medica is always like the cutting edge of skincare, you guys. They are the first to come out with like the newest in like technology. This is kind of SkinCeuticals kind of following suit to that HA5. It's it does very similar things to the Skin Medica HA5, but it's just an amazing product. I love the Skin Medica HA5 too. So these are just kind of ones that I'm rotating right now. So I don't know, which one should I use today, guys? I think I'm gonna stick to the Is Clinical Hydro Cool Serum. Like I said, I'm honestly so in love with this. And this one does have like the healing properties to your skin. This one is more along the lines if you just really want that hyaluronic acid, if you really wanna stimulate your body to produce its own type of thing, this is just gonna be, you know, all for you. But if you do want Want those like healing properties with your hyaluronic acid. If you do have that red skin, inflamed skin, irritated skin, then this one is just hands down amazing. Now this one comes out in a little pump like this. It's kind of like a blue serum gel. I'm going to take this and I'm going to again pat this into my skin. And you will notice when you use this, like I said, you feel an immediate soothing and just softening of the skin. It's so deeply hydrating and makes your skin feel amazing. I'm gonna take any little extra that I have, I'm gonna pat that into my neck as well. Oh, I seriously love the way this feels. Okay, so now that we got our hydrating and healing serum on, I'm going to let that soak in again for a minute. And now here's the point where I'm going to move on to eye creams. So before I go to my moisturizer and SPF for the day, this is the point where I'm kind of done with my serums. I took any serums that I wanted and I applied them around my eyes as well. So, so now is the time for my eye cream. Now there's two different eye creams that I kind of switch it up for the day. The one being the Neocutis Micro Eyes. I love this eye cream. This is the Neocutis newest addition to their anti-aging line, the Micro line. Chock full of peptides again, amazing ingredients. So good if you have any wrinkles around your eyes, but it's also amazing if you have darkness around your eyes or puffy eyes. This just works so good. So I've been loving this. This also comes in the Micro Eyes Riche, which is very hydrating if you have very dry under your eyes. So I love this. And then the other one that I will use, you know, on the daily as well is the SkinCeuticals, the AOX Plus Eye Gel, which is the antioxidant treatment for your eyes. And you guys have heard me talk a million times about this. I think today I'm going to use the Neocutis though, because I'm really not going to be outside today. It's raining. It's nasty out. So I'm going to apply this Neocutis, and all I do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna dab it around the eye area. And the best way to apply your eye cream is to take your, like your middle finger or your ring finger, one of those fingers there, and dab it around the eye, because the dabbing motion will actually stimulate the blood flow and actually stimulate the product to get deeper into your skin. So always kind of dab your eye creams in 
around your eye like that. Okay, now we are going back to the face. We are doing our moisturizer now. There are two basic moisturizers that I kind of been using again for the past couple months. One of them is the Sunita's Sensitive Skin Moisture. This is just a fabulous moisturizer really for anybody, but it's specifically good if you have more sensitive skin or if you have that redness to your skin because this will help to really, again, repair your natural skin's barrier and just really help to bring down any inflammation or redness to your skin. So I've been absolutely loving this as well as I will really switch off on and on between these two. The other one being the Aven, the Hydrants Optimal. This is a light hydrating cream for normal to combination sensitive skin. Just an amazing, amazing moisturizer. Has a high concentration of the thermal spring water again, but it's so soothing to the skin. Obviously it's good for sensitive skin, but really anybody again can use it. Anybody who just wants a good light hydrating cream. So it's not too much if you have, you know, more normal to oily skin. It's like the perfect amount of, you know, deep hydration without being greasy or oily or heavy on the skin. But I love this one. So between these two, these are the two moisturizers I've been using and they're both just absolutely absolutely amazing. I guess today I'm going to use the Sunita's one. This one comes in a pump like this, just a little light cream like that. I'm going to take this again and I'm going to apply this all over my face. Just kind of rub this moisturizer in. All right, so we got everything up to moisturizer for now. What I'm going to do now before I apply my SPF for the day is I'm going to take this, and this is what I've been using down my neck and chest every morning and every night because I love it. It's the Neocutis Micro Firm, the Neck and Decollete Rejuvenating Complex. Seriously, such a good like neck and chest cream. It just really helps to increase the elasticity of that area. So if you're starting to see a little bit of that like loose skin or a little bit of that sagging going on, this just really helps to firm everything up and it obviously will help to keep it from getting any worse at the same time. It's also really good to help with like chest wrinkles. So I always take it around my chest area because it really helps to improve like the elasticity of that area, which is really easy to lose like that elasticity as we get older in the chest area because you just always end up with those darn like chest wrinkles. So this really helps with that and it really helps to create like a soft and nice skin on that area too. So this one you just kind of pump out the top like this and I'm going to take this down my neck and chest. Usually I do this when I get out of the shower so I'm like in a towel so it's a little easier but I'm just going to rub this in. Get all in that area that we don't want sagging. Okay, so we got that. So now we're gonna finish up for the day with my SPF, and I still love this one so much. It's the Skin Medica, the Essential Defense, the Mineral Shield, it's a mineral sunscreen, it's the Broad Spectrum SPF 32. This is the tinted version. There's also a non-tinted version, but this is really good for post-procedure and sensitive skin. So it's good for all, all skin types. It has antioxidants in this as well to help really, you know, repair the skin and protect it from the UVA, UVB, free radicals, all that stuff. I just love this under makeup and with it being like that tinted, you know, a little bit of that tinted formula, it just really helps to kind of even out just very, very lightly the skin tone and it just creates like a really good base for your makeup. So I just love this SPF. I'm gonna take this SPF, I bring it all under my eyes everywhere. I'm gonna rub this in. And I never ever leave my house without SPF. Even on a day like this, which is completely rainy, completely dark and yucky outside, I, no matter what, will always leave my house with SPF every single day. So I'm also gonna take a pump of this and I always apply SPF down my neck as well. Again, every single day. All right, so that's it. That's my morning skincare routine. That is what I've been doing now for at least the last two months and I've been absolutely loving this routine. These products are doing exactly what I want them to do. They are super effective. I am just loving this routine right now. So before I wrap up this video, I do have to tell you guys this and share this with you because I told a couple of you guys I would update you on the new Skin Medica, the Lytera 2.0. This sucker is so effective. Now, I personally am not using this right now. I don't really have any of that sun damage or brown pigmentation to my skin. Mine, like I say, comes out in like the redness. So this though, I have to give you guys an update. So Brian, my husband, had a ton of little brown blotchy sun damage spots. He used this and I'm not even joking. Within two weeks, his skin was so even toned and all that brown blotchy sun damage was gone. I was like in shock. I was like jealous of his skin because his skin looked so flawless and it was because of this product. He was using this for only two weeks 
and he saw drastic results. So I wanted to give you guys a little update on this product because it's so effective. I could not believe it. So anyway, that is my morning skincare routine. I am gonna be filming my nighttime routine. That will be coming up shortly as well. So stay tuned for that because I'm gonna be filming that soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, just let me know down below in the comments. All these products will be linked down below in the description box as well, as well as some discount codes that you guys know I always have for you. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Talking skincare, which is my favorite subject in the entire world. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.